Hi Chloe. Hi. So thank you for joining us for Lab Week 2022. So I just want to say that we are here today to commemorate our annual Lab Week celebration in honour for all our lab staff across our branches. Um, and we are here today with Chloe McKee to inspire us with her journey within Randolph's throughout the past few years. So I just want to ask you, how did you end up in Randox? So once I was finishing up my university degree, I decided to look for a job that was close to what I was studying. Um, and this was just as the pandemic hit. So I thought my area of study in biology could play a part with the fight against COVID-19. Um, I then noticed that Randox were advertising and decided to apply and my journey really started from there. Yeah, like I'm sure you would agree, looking back during your studies, you wouldn't have even thought of experiencing a global pandemic at, you know, at your age at that time, never mind COVID-19 ramping up to the scale that it really did at that point. And it happened so drastically, you know what I mean? Like we both experienced it, you experienced it in a different way than I did. And it was definitely a global emergency that you were so brave and willing enough to help combat alongside other people. And honestly, for that, you're an inspiration. So what was your role when you started at Randox then? So when I first joined Randox, I started as an extractor. And um, from this, I worked my way up to become shift lead of my own extraction lab. And I started in May 2020. Oh, I actually started in December 2020. Very good. Was it a lot different in May 2020 compared to like, you know, the, the tail end of December? May 2020 was just, you know, as a pandemic was starting. And by the time we got to December 2020, it had ramped up like a lot and we were doing you know up to 100k samples a day in a 24-hour period so that's yeah that's definitely a lot different than to me yeah. did you have any previous experiences then when you started um in randox or was it just like your um undergrad background so i had a bit of lab experience prior to starting randox with the placement i completed as part of my foundation degree however it was nothing like what i was doing in randox and um, as we were in the middle of the pandemic i had to learn to adjust quickly to the workload the number of COVID samples we were we were receiving every day and this number just grew like week by week we were hitting numbers up to 100k in a 24 hour period by Christmas 2020 um, but as for the labs they definitely met my expectations everyone from senior management to lab staff you know came together they worked together and this was one of the main reasons why we could manage the capacity of the testing. Did you feel like um, COVID in general working with Randox is like very rewarding within your role? Yeah, definitely. Um, the most rewarding part of my role was definitely like playing a huge part in the nation's fight against COVID-19. You know, going home after work and seeing the daily number of tests reported to people in the UK each day on the news. Like that really highlighted, highlighted to me the wider impact that Randox was, was playing in this fight. Yeah, I totally agree with you, Chloe. Like, I started off in the labs as well with zero experience, and I honestly believe that hand in my heart, I appreciate every single one of my colleagues. The amount of support you get during those times was rewarding enough, and I honestly would not be able to be where I am today without them. How was your overall experience then in the labs? Like, where are you now in the company, and what do you feel has been the most challenging aspect, and how did you overcome it? So my role within Randox has changed several times from being an extraction shift lead. Um, I then jumped to be a COVID manager um, in the lab in the COVID labs back home, and now I am a senior lab manager for our mobile testing sites and travel clinics around the UK. So I would say my overall experience has been the most rewarding yet challenging part of my life. To be honest, it's, it hasn't been easy, but it's definitely been rewarding. Going from a student with little responsibility, you know, to suddenly having a team with over three hundred people was a major adjustment. So although it has been tough, I've enjoyed it all, and I'm. I'm just thankful for how much I've learned during this pandemic and the opportunities I've been provided with. Well, thank you so much, Chloe. So um, since like obviously you've been like an extractor manager to COVID manager and now you're in your new position as senior mobile laboratory manager, um, do you have any visions or aspirations then into the future of where you want to be in the company? So I've only recently been promoted to my senior mobile manager role. So I currently envisage, envisage myself selling into this role and helping to improve the quality and efficiency of our labs within the UK and most importantly, getting accreditation for our labs as well. Um, but as well as this, I'm looking forward to, you know, spending more time in the UK in our new travel clinics and really putting a focus on getting to know the staff and um, driving you know, Randog's health into the communities mm -hmm. in the UK. Yeah, that's really good. Like we have like recently expanded all our like, mobile laboratories to like the cubes and stuff like yeah. that. I think we only started with like four in the UK. 
Yeah, I think like that. Yeah. At this, yeah. I think that was like towards like the tail end of twenty twenty one. Yeah. And now, how many do we have? Um, we're nearly hitting forty now. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That um, that is actually. Mad. We just keep expanding, you know, and getting into the communities and getting to know, um, the staff really, and it's really, like, rewarding getting to know the staff coming from each area of the UK and seeing mm-hmm. what this job means to them. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm pretty sure there'll be like a lot of like little mini Chloe's down there. <laughs> like, you know, they'll be taking inspiration from you, from like how you were whenever you were like, you know, an undergrad to like now like a senior manager, you know, like yeah. it's something that people can actually like look up to and see where, you know, you've kind of come a long way, but also in a, such a short space of time. It's really yeah, nice. Yeah, definitely. It's been a crazy two years. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Okay, so Chloe, is there something that you're currently working on that you feel like, you know, you're most looking forward to at the minute? So currently we're, you know, constantly growing in the UK and we're now becoming a major player in preventative health. So I'm definitely looking forward to getting more involved in this. You know, it's a new area from COVID and I'm excited to explore this um, area of Randox more. I feel like thanks to COVID, only probably the only positive thing that's come out of it um, <laughs> is people are taking more ownership of their health and we at Randox can provide a service for this. Mm-hmm. Our new clinics are right across the UK are start, starting to offer more health testing. Um, so we're not just you know offering COVID now, we are expanding from COVID to um, more health related services. Yeah, no, it is good like branching out to like, these like different areas and just like providing more services because like, I myself, like, I work in marketing, and yeah. so I kind of, like, see the behind the scenes of, like, what goes into, obviously, like, all these health checks, all the clinic work, and it is just so nice that, like, it's not just COVID anymore, obviously, it is still around, it's still very much a thing, yeah. and we are still trying to keep our, um keep safe all the time, but it is, like, you know, just, like, loads of health checks available for everyone for, like, different tests and so on, so it is nice to see that a lot of people are taking that into account, and also coming into our clinics and just to see what we're all about and we're not just covered. Yeah, definitely. It's nice, you know, meeting customers coming into the clinics and then being able to see what other services we can offer because I think um, a lot of people, you know, have only heard of us because of COVID and now this has um, given us an opportunity to get to know our customers and get to know the people of the UK and to offer these services to them. So Chloe, um, I'm sure you know that uh, Lab Week is basically a celebration for medical laboratory professionals and pathologists who play a vital role in healthcare. Um, so this is actually taking place on the 24th of April, right through to 30th mm-hmm. of April. So like, we thank you very much for coming in and like talking to us about your role and how your role has changed uh, drastically since like May 2020 and to where you're at now as a senior mobile laboratory manager. <laughs> so thank you for inspiring others um, with your story and I wish you all the best in the future. Thank you very much for having me. It's been great fun. No, no problem. Thank you.